Peace, love, and light. And today, I want to come and talk about portals. And um, I would say Gemini uh, and also Cancer, because this actually pertains more so to Cancer than um, Gemini. Well, a little bit of both. It's, it's kind of interesting for both. But um, for one, um, I want to talk about portals because when I was walking the other day, it was 6-16-2021, and I was walking, <laughs> and I was walking to, um, I was walking up the street, and I can't remember exactly what I was thinking about, but I got this, like, cosmic download where I was thinking about portals and how the womb is a portal, and I was getting, like, a visual of how babies come into this this world this realm and it was like um said so let me make sure before I, I say that um i don't think it is oh it, oh it is because 616 2021 is a nine day and this is the day that i got the information and i was i was just getting the visual of how babies come into the world and they come in like the, the shape of a nine almost like they come in like curled in the fetal position, but it looks like a nine. And that's that's what the visual was. I was just getting that and it was very um, vivid, um, like bright, like you could see the aura of the baby and, and things like that. And I was just really thinking about that and how um, that day I ended up um, and thinking of, thinking about a new life, I, I, that day I started. I was talking to my sister, and she was talking about get get um a cat that she had at her house. She was wondering if I knew anybody that wanted to have the cat, but I didn't. And I was starting to think about getting the cat myself, and I ended up not getting it because um, I had to talk to my sister. But I mean, I may get it later, but I just don't have it now. But we were talking about getting getting me getting the cat and. It was just, it was just remind me of the idea of new life and also how cats, um, deal with like dimensions and being able to walk to, talk, walk through different dimensions. So that was just like an interesting, like, um, synchronicity on a different level though. But it was, it was just an interesting synchronicity and in how the cats are said to have nine lives and babies are in the womb for nine months and they come into this world and i was also thinking about it wasn't the same day but i was thinking about how being born we are basically having an outer body experience because we're coming out of the womb we're coming out of one body and going into another world and i was just thinking about how interesting it is that we have this out of body experience that's so obvious that's so um in the public that we don't even necessarily acknowledge we don't even necessarily think about it but that's what it is we come into a different different world we have an out, out of body experience being born and I was, I was thinking about how cool that is but I, I didn't really have anybody to tell so i, I figured i'd tell the world <laughs> that i felt that way about it and what i've been thinking about in gemini was the, how I've been saying that I'm also a dimensional, which I, I said in a previous video, that it's been, it's, it was um, um, very obvious that I am, sorry, my cat's sitting here. It's, it's very obvious that I am, and that a lot of things from my past life have come up, and I've been able to see like different perspectives and different things, but the energy is very like, present I don't, I don't know how to explain it's just very present and i'm very aware of it and it's not in the sense of like judgment or anything like that it's just like being aware of it and seeing how i was in my past life is interesting and i love being able to have that perspective where i'm not judging i'm just observing and accepting And I'm, I'm, I'm accepting. And also, um,
acknowledging that certain things happened in my past life that I do not like resonate with right I mean, resonate with on this in this lifetime but it was just very interesting that that energy came in in, in Gemini where you have like the swims where it's like two of the same things but they're like split apart and that's what it, that's what the um, energy of, of Gemini was was really giving me at that point and it, that's what it made that's what that's how it made sense to me but that's why it was interesting because it, it, it happened in Gemini <laughs> kind of lost my train of thought because of that whole thing that just happened but um yeah and I, I just noticed that water signs always come in very strong for me it, and it's, it's always like days before like I'll get information about water signs and I'll, I'll know that they're coming in before they actually come in and it's not really like that with any other sign but water signs if, if I'm not mistaken but I, I always get it like a few days before and if it is it's, it's pretty much the same but it, it always happens before it actually comes in and it's very strong it, and it comes in with with very strong like information or very strong um presence and the presence of cancer is very strong and, and i'm very interested in what's going to happen to cancer like i'm thinking some very interesting things are going to happen to cancer i don't know what but i'm very excited to find out um I have so much to say. I can't. I can't remember everything that I want to say. Um, I've been writing the book. The book has has been coming along very good. Like I've been, I've been getting a lot of downloads about the book, and they make so much sense. Like even like reading it back, like it's it's so interesting to see how on point it is like I can I can observe myself I can observe other people and I can still see like the relevance of it and I can see how it can help and benefit other people and it's not something that that is just something that I'm writing it's actually something that's meaningful something that's um, going to translate into many different people's lives something i was thinking about was how they tell us that the bible is one of the most translated books in the world and it was translated from its original language but what they don't tell you and i, I, used, to, I used to think that it was just like language the language like the words that were like mixed up it's not just the words it's literally the sound like the sounds that the original language had to actually be in was translated into a language that it doesn't act, doesn't necessarily fit in so sometimes when you hear like things in the bible it's not actually just the word that's that's out of place it's literally the sound like it's supposed to just be about the sound it's not it's not the word at all like <laughs> it's irony if you think about it because christianity is basically built on the the word and the idea of the word but it's not not necessarily how you decode or how you understand or how you make sense of the language or what's being said in the bible it's literally the sound like you have to hear it spoken to understand what's actually being said like and a specific type of person has to say it because it's not this proper english that'll that'll help you decode the bible the bible cannot be decoded using proper english that's something that i learned almost by accident because i i was already understanding the bible but when i heard someone say someone say certain a certain part of the bible 
in just their natural um, speech, their na natural like flow, the way they speak. I understood. I understood what it was that that the um, passage was actually saying, what the um, verses were actually saying, and it took me understanding that the language is just like really fixed because I want to say the language of the Bible is broken language and it's, it's fixed to make it sound like something else and to make the reader believe something else when it's actually talking about something entirely different like it's actually just the sound and the sound is what the main focus of the verses actually are talking about and that's that's what the actual message is and that's why a lot of people can't get what's actually being said in the bible because they actually focus on they focus on the, the words rather than actually focusing on the sounds but we've been taught to listen to the words and we have to speak proper english and if you don't speak properly proper english you're not understood and you're not acceptable but that's not how you would, would decode the bible that's not how you would understand uh, the language of anybody really because we don't we don't speak we're not we're not I don't want to say we don't speak proper English but we don't speak with the proper sounds and we're taught to speak in in the wrong way in the wrong manner and that doesn't help us to communicate with each other like it's no actual feeling behind what we're saying and and what we're saying is not actually felt it's not actually understood by other people like it's supposed to be like when you speak to someone it's supposed to be uplifting it's supposed to be like healing to them if they're if they're going through something i don't know if i don't know if, um you could translate it to anything else but they're supposed to be able to feel the energy that you give off when you speak to them but with english you may feel like an emotion like if they go in that particular way but yes you don't you don't necessarily make it the connection with the words that they're speaking like they can say it a different, they can say it in a particular way, but you don't necessarily make that connection that it's the words that they're speaking, it's the sounds that they are actually emitting from their their body that's causing you to feel that way. Because they they either are speaking too too um, too proper, too too focus on like the words that they don't actually translate to what's actually being communicated. That's pretty much all I um, wanted to say. I really wanted to talk about how the language in the Bible is is very um, like coded, and then also like another thing to another thing to add to that would be like numbers. Numbers are very like connected. Like they're not separate from anything. And once you figure out the connection of numbers to everything. Well, once you figure out your connection to number, with well, the connection of numbers to different things, you'll figure out how things have been hidden and they're hidden in plain sight. And numbers have a big, well, they play a major role in that. And I don't think a lot of people realize how connected they are in different situations. Like we look, we look at certain numbers, like maybe like one or two numbers, like, and we don't really um, look at the other numbers because it's not just one numbers that that's connected to many things. Numbers are universal and they they go everywhere. They show up everywhere and they play a very important role in understanding the world and also the cosmos. But yeah, that, that that's another um, major key when it comes to like figuring things out in this world. But yeah, um, I hope that hope that this brought value to you and with that being said I love you and I hope that you have a great day